Hi everybody, Chris back with you talking Major League Baseball. The Baltimore Orioles' magical season came to an end in the American League Division Series when they lost to the Texas Rangers three games to none. That being said, it was an ultra-successful campaign for the Birds. They won 101 games and claimed the American League East title. General Manager Mike Elias and Manager Brandon High talked about the season. I wish we uh, made a better uh, playoff run, you know? I, I, the regular season, I mean, 101 wins in the American League East. Um, probably we were dreaming of that when we started the rebuild. It seemed impossible, and um, you know these the the people here pulled pulled it together, and it, I I think it's um, just a historic achievement. Um, I, I this group of players, regardless of where else they go in their careers and their lives, I hope that the city of Baltimore uh, remembers this group for um, kind of reminding the world that. You know, this is Baltimore, and we we do baseball here, and that's you know my goal going forward. As long as I'm responsible um, for keeping that being the case, and um, it's the guys in that room that really made it happen. The way it ended was awful and sucked, and uh, you know we're wearing that still. Um, but um, it was a really successful season, and you know overcoming so many odds and obstacles that are against us, and so many people thinking that we weren't going to be a playoff team and all of a sudden we win 101 games and win the American League East. I mean, that's that's uh, says a lot about a lot of people in the organization, a lot of guys in that in that clubhouse. Um, so I'm really proud of that. But there's a you know, there was, we had great. I mean, we had so many awesome moments and um, huge wins and close wins and the amount of close games we played was ridiculous and how we won some games, um, you know, during the season. It was just the total team effort, and that's how we played all year. And um, you know, unfortunately, the postseason we just didn't play our best, and um, ran into a little bit of a buzzsaw. But but uh, I have I'm gonna have great memories of of this team. We're looking to get better, and um, we um, we also have to look to maintain. That's part of the game too. You know, there's areas where um, just maintaining takes effort. And um, so we're going to be doing all that. Um, I uh, am looking forward to doing it in a professional way and sitting down and analyzing and talking to people. And one of the uh, unwanted consolation prizes of, of getting eliminated early is uh, you have a little bit more time to uh, prepare for the off season. So we are sprinting ahead with doing that as a baseball ops department. Um, we got people upstairs right now uh, cranking on it, and um, I'm already I'm already going. So I don't have huge specific answers about what we're going to be out there looking for doing. I'm not ready for that yet. Um, I just we're going to start putting the thought and the work into those very important questions right now. The Orioles now move into off-season mode as they prepare for spring training, which is just right around the corner. It begins in February.